hey guys welcome back to my channel so the setting is a little different i'm actually using direct sunlight right here in front of my window so if the lighting changes throughout the video that is why and i hope it doesn't change too much because i really wanted to film this video for you guys and basically tell you guys the truth behind getting your belly button pierced i am going to get started with when i got it pierced so i got it pierced and if i look down it's because i'm looking at my notes so i got it pierced september 30th 2018 i know i got it a day before my birthday my birthday is october 1st and i got it pierced for my 20th birthday it was something i wanted to do um, between me my cousin my sister we all were gonna get my belly our belly buttons pierced because it was gonna be like a thing and it was gonna be for my birthday and that lo and behold that that is what happened i actually filmed it all and i'm gonna link the video down below of me actually getting my belly button pierced so prior to getting it pierced i did want to book with someone that would let me record so i was looking at reviews obviously i was looking at the places i called up one place they told me i couldn't film so i called up this place and told me yes i can film and that's what I wanted. So we booked a day. The cost was, I believe, y'all, I think I paid $50 plus tip. And um, it was me, my sister that went. And then my cousin, my cousin was 17 at the time. So she needed her parent there. So her mom went with her and um, had to sign some paperwork for her. But if you're over 18, you can do it yourself. Obviously, get your parents' permission. Um, my mom was there just to go with us, of course. I had to sign my own paperwork, but keep that in mind. You need a parent if you're under 18, and if you go to a place that doesn't say that you need a parent, like a guardian, to sign your paper if you're under 18, then I wouldn't trust that place, you guys. So keep that in mind. If they do it for your safety, I believe you're not allowed to get your stuff pierced unless you're over 18 so that is why they do that and if they don't ask for that then i feel like that's sketchy so keep that in mind do your research and um yeah so basically i was the first one to go the guy told me because i wanted okay this was my original piercing um this is removable this is not the original um, thing that was on there. It was actually like a diamond, but I obviously lost it. I do have my original piercing here. I have all my examples here because I want to show you guys the difference. So I thought I would be able to get like, I just wanted a plain silver. It kind of wanted it just to be like that all over and then a plain silver at the top. But the guy didn't give me any options. He said he was going to pierce it with this. This is the main one that everyone uses. He was going to pierce it with needle clearly. But I wanted my jewelry to be different, but he didn't give me any options. He said that was it. I figured that later on I could just change it out. So I went first. He actually had me lay down on a table he sanitized it he marked two spots sanitized the needle sanitized my area here and then pierced it um if you see the video i'm gonna link down below you can see that i made a face it's because it was painful you guys i rated about a six out of ten it was very doable it was very very quick obviously i felt the needle go in and then i also felt the piercing go in and this was the piercing he pierced it with like i said it's the exact not the piercing the jewelry that i got um the only difference is that this top was a thing that matched the bottom i don't have it anymore but i want to show you how long this is compared to this one this is a one that i got from spencer's and i actually have some stuff to say about this one but i'll talk about it later um look at the difference the reason this is a lot longer it's because when you pierce um, your belly button, it swells up and the piercing needs room for it to heal. It was meant to be long because it needed space to swell up. If it was swelling up with this little thing right here, it wouldn't have any room for healing. So this is why it is long. Honestly, this was annoying when the swelling was down because there was like a long, could see the middle part and I'd rather it just be like this. But there's always a purpose for everything, you guys. I will <laughs> I will get there when I get there. So this is what he pressed it with. He, like I said, put the needle in and then put this in right after that. And my cousin went, my sister went, and we were out of our merry way. And if you guys are wondering, mine did bleed a little bit. I remember he got a Q-tip and just cleaned around the edges and that was it. So not much blood if you're scared of blood like me after i got my piercing done um he said that 
we should clean it with dial soap which i insert a picture of what dial soap looks like and i don't remember if he mentioned anything about sea salt to sanitize i don't remember but i just didn't do it because i did research prior to getting it periods and a lot of people said not to do that but then a lot of people said to do that so like i just didn't do it because i didn't know so do your research i don't remember what he said about that but um he did say i could change it could switch out my piercing and i believe two weeks which to me was crazy how the heck in two weeks he either said two weeks or a month but still because before i was watching videos it they took the video said like you know wait six months you know you shouldn't feel any pain before you change out your piercing but he was like no you'll be good in a month i didn't listen to that but i did end up switching on my piercing four to five months later which was on my mistake but let me get to that in a bit so after the piercing it was really hard for me to sit down without it hurting you know very sore it was painful you guys it was painful i uh, was told to clean it three times a day which i did for the most part after i believe a month or two i got really lazy and cleaning it three, on cleaning it three times a day so i started doing like in the morning in the afternoon or like in the shower you know i would bring my soap in and just do it there now i don't know if people have said this before i'm sure they have but it is kind of nasty what comes out of your belly button you'll get like clear um slimy stuff come out of it honestly it's all part of the healing process so i'm just letting y'all know that if you see stuff coming out of your belly button it's pretty normal unless you get like pus coming out of it that's greenish yellowish i think that's when it's infected so i have a lot of like clear stuff come out a uh, little bit of pus but nothing green or yellow it was kind of white not white so that's also normal when i cleaned it i would just you know put my belly button i would like put the soap and just rub it around move the piercing up and down as much as i could and then just rinse it that wasn't hard it was just hard maintaining like the cleaning you know cleaning three times a day is is a lot of work personally but i will say i didn't feel cute with the belly button piercing on for a while because there was all this stuff coming out of it it was sore you couldn't really have high-waisted things over it of course um i would say if you're gonna get your belly button pierced and you're trying to show it up show it off get it done get it done in the winter so i got mine done in october I feel like that was a perfect time for me because it got like it was pretty healed by the time i was out on vacation that summer so think of that too I will also say that that um like nasty stuff didn't stop until probably like seven eight months and that's because mine wasn't healed and everyone's body is different some people take six months some people take a year some people take two years you guys the healing is no joke but after four or five months i felt like i wanted to switch it i just wanted to you guys you you go to all these places and you see all these cute little rings that they sell I bought these from Sumi's. These were $14.99. I bought these little interchangeable things for $7.99. And I just wanted to change it, you guys. So I did. I changed it. And it did hurt. It was not time for me to change it. That was on me. But I did change it. And it was very sore. I believe the first time I changed it, it actually bled. Which I don't know if that's not or not. But it bled and then I got scared. I kept it in for a while and then I felt like a lot of my piercings were getting irritated if it wasn't the original long one that I would wear. So I would keep switching it back to this. But at one point, like I got a bunch of jewelry. I got a bunch of jewelry and I wanted to switch them out and I want to see how all of them look. So I was like constantly like changing them to see how it looks. And that was on my mistake. So moving on. Also, when it comes to buying jewelry, make sure you clean it before. I like to put mine in alcohol just like soak it there for a little while and have it you know clean so make sure that it is made i believe it's 100 percent steel because that's what the original was so i feel like that's what your belly, belly button would be used to just be aware of what you're putting in your body basically is what i'm trying to say you know make sure you don't get your jewelry from a place that's kind of sketch and you know that like is weird because you might end up regretting it later i will also mention that your piercing can always decide like your body can always decide to not like your piercing anymore so even if you have your piercing in for a year or two years your body might not want it anymore and it starts to migrate um what migrate basically means is that your piercing pushes out the piercing and it leaves a nasty scar and i was really scared of that for a while but i'm just mentioning that can happen is it likely i don't think so as long as you take care of it and to this day i still clean my belly button piercing but in the shower you know in mind the stuff like that can always happen same thing can happen with your cartilage your um piercing 
your body might not want it anymore and um, it will start to migrate it and take it out of your body literally so that's not fun so after over a year my belly button felt perfectly fine like it was healed I would go up and down and it wouldn't hurt anymore meaning like that's a sign that it's healed or so I thought okay so I have switched it out a couple times and I stick stuck with this one this I got at Sumi's I cleaned it off it looks like this and I love this one it didn't dangle from using this it didn't dangle so it just looked cuter you know and I noticed I got a bruise like I got like a bruise in between the piercing so not where it was pierced not where the two holes were but in the middle of it sorry you guys it was getting kind of hot in here I didn't think anything of it uh, of it I thought it was weird of course but I didn't know what to do about it so I just kept it on after a couple days it kept getting darker and darker and I thought it was really weird but I didn't take my piercing out until that dark spot turned into a wound like a straight up wound i was really scared to take out my piercing because i didn't want it to close i really liked it i thought it was super cute so i kept it there and i thought it was weird how I it wasn't infected I, I think it was i don't know what it was you guys to this day i still don't know what it is but it wasn't coming from the piercing holes which you would assume it would come from it was coming from was coming from the the middle which i thought it was super weird and i noticed that it was a, a full-on wound so like pus will come out of it it was really gross show y'all what i'm talking about um wow we're very up close and personal here but here's my belly button this is the piercing i have right now i don't know if you can see that i will take a closer picture but right in the center here i have a scar and it's because once it healed it left a scar that wound that I had lasted about a week and a half or so I cleaned it super consistently I was like no I'm not gonna let this get infected like I don't know what this is but I'm not gonna let it get infected so I cleaned it every day two times a day three times a day four times a day I don't know I would clean it and every time I cleaned it I felt a lot better so I just kept cleaning it until the wound closed I didn't I would add alcohol to it just cleaned the heck out of it every single day i after the third day i was like i might be the piercing so i changed it back to this original one i was scared but uh, it didn't hurt to put the piercing in i don't think it was the like i don't know what caused it but it wasn't the piercing that hurt it was just like the center part that was you know infected or whatever that was and i think it has to do with the jewelry that i got so i wanted to say that story so you guys keep that in mind. I have this scar now, which uh, it has gone down from when I like first got it. I feel like when I first got it, it was a lot darker. But I, as the months go on, because this happened about six months ago, I think. As the months go on, the um, darkness goes down too. I was self-conscious about it for a while i was like dang is this even worth it you like i just scarred myself and it was something that i couldn't avoid it just happened it might have been because i switched out my jewelry so early in the game i just wanted to mention that so you guys can be precautious when you do stuff like this you know it's not a joke it's not something to take lightly you are piercing your body and although it's super cute there are consequences that can come from it and that was one of um, my little things there that's my little story there and i wanted to say long story short it's not all fun in games things like that can happen it is annoying to keep up with the healing is hella annoying it is frustrating when you want to wear something and you can't because your belly button is sore but after that is out of the way the actual piercing is super cute i do not regret it still because it's been two years and i still have it and i still think it's super cute and although that little thing happened to me i feel like it doesn't take away how I like it. I still think it's really cute. I still feel like I can wear it for a couple more years and um, still rock it. So I don't personally regret it. Maybe someone would if that happened to them. But personally, I don't regret it. There's people who have gone through this and have gone through like perfectly, you know, nothing happened to them afterwards. They're still rocking their piercing. So if just because this happened to me doesn't mean it's gonna happen to you but i just wanted to put my little story out there and basically say to be careful know what you're doing do your research go with someone who you trust has good reviews 
and rock your piercing enjoy it once you get it done enjoy it you know it's kind of annoying but i feel like it's very cute and it makes a lot of outfits super cute and i really like it you know i'd be like oh i'm feeling you know cute showing my little belly and my piercing with it so if you guys want to do it take what i said into consideration you know don't be scared it doesn't hurt and if it hurts just for like well, it hurts. Okay, I'm going to lie. It hurts, but it's very temporary. So if you guys want to do it, go ahead and do it. Just like I said, do your research. Be smart. Be safe. And enjoy your piercing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your love and support. I love you guys so much. You guys mean the world to me. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.